2009, October 11th, report, the photo analysis <clears throat> on an expedition that took place in 1973. It was the first expedition into the glacial biological anomaly, or the Mega Angustus Cavernus Sarco Canadensis. This was the first photo taken. It is of an Ursidae bisporus, which is a common specimen found within the confines of the neobiological highlands. They are also on occasion found a living in the glacial biological anomaly. Uh, this particular photo taken before the specimen had been given a name. Since then, multiple dissections have been done of the creature. It's determined that it shares DNA with bears. And it also contains bones and resembles biologically nothing similar to a mushroom. This was the second photo taken during the expedition. While it may seem to depict nothing, it could be observed in the uh, upper or in the lower to uh, in the lower right third of the photograph near the center. That uh, white dot could be a reflection on something within the anomaly. Now, according to the report by the pilot of the ship, Chief Executive Dr. Brian Smith, they had detected motion within the anomaly when they uh, took the photograph and the creature had moved from the frame and is not pictured within it. This is a much deeper look from the anomaly, either looking into a root system, neurostructure, lung shaft, but it is definitely close to the hydrophosphoric acid system, as evidenced by the erosion visible in the upper right center of the photograph. It has been corrupted due to, uh, potentially due to damage sustained to the craft during the descent. This was the final photo taken definitely within the root system. Uh, multiple converging paths at this point Cause <coughs> huh. um, they caused the they caused the ship to no longer be able to descend further. Now this is by all likelihood a Homo alestorensis indigator. Now this is a creature that can mimic human beings and animals within the Confines <coughs> within the uh, neobiological highlands. Here, it seems to be mimicking our pilot, who uh, it must have seen and attempted to shift into. This was an unsuccessful shift, which can frequently kill the uh, creature. These are mostly hunted to extinction at this point as they are deemed too dangerous to exist. Many theories sprung up at the time of what this creature could be as they were so located in the deepest depths of the glacial biological anomaly or what was thought to be the deepest depths at the time. We now know that the Mega Angustus cavernus canadensis extends more than double the depth that uh, this expedition was able to reach 